Try Hard Taxes. Alrighty, Try Hard Taxes 2023. Here we are. We've done quite well. We've got a 5 0 with this list. So currently, no changes. Some changes I am thinking about is Field of Ruin being changed for Ghost Quarter because then we get to attack lands earlier which would be nice. However, that would require us to go down a land. I've also been umming and ahhing about Besaju in the list. Currently, it's a no because it goes against what we're trying to do with Thalia. And also it leans us more heavily into green in game one. And I really think the mono white for game one is what's important. Guardian of Faith is currently our flex slot. Not sure what I'd change that to. I've heard people are having good luck with the new Malaria. And some people have said they've been having a lot of good luck with Sarah Paragon, which Maybe I've tried it before and I haven't enjoyed it, but if you enjoy it and you can find room for it, by all means. All right, so this is the deck list. We're going to run it through a league. No nonsense. And if you do like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really like this video and the other videos I produce on this channel, please consider supporting me on my Patreon or buy me a coffee like these gorgeous people have. So thank you all very much. You have helped keep the channel alive. And with all that said, let's get on with the games. Round one. Right, round one, we have won the die roll. Let's go first. Ah, uh, yeah, let's keep. Probably a little land heavy, but that's what Iganjo's for. All right, Blast Zone into Aethervile. Pass the turn there. Just doing this to preserve our life total. Godless Shrine, hello. Tapped. So this could be a scam list, pox list, all sorts of things. Could even be a boat. Aethervile ticking up. Um, I think we just go Horizon Canopy, run out Stoneforge. Sword of Fire and Ice or Caldera. Let's, let's grab Sword of Fire and Ice. Pass the turn there because we can hard cast that next turn regardless. Esper. What's been going on with Esper lately? No idea. Okay, but they're passing. Let's tick up the Aether Vial. Thalia is very interesting. Mm. Play Horizon Canopy. I think the play is still activate this Stoneforge. Okay, now we activate Aether Vial and we put Stoneforge Mystic into play. We did it this way because it's just the hardest way for them to interact with anything we got going on. Yes. Search up Caldra. Okay, Caldra into play. Living Weapon. I have a 5-5. Five, five. Swing in for 5. They take it down to 15. All right, not bad. Pass the turn there. Tainted Indulgence. Okay, so Esper Reanimator, I'd say. Ah, yes, with the Traxa. Okay, gotta try and stop that from happening. They're playing Cracker Marsh Flats. Hallowed Fountain, untapped. Goyo's Vengeance, yep. No fair. Okay, they get to reveal a bunch of cards and they get to put a bunch of them into their hand. Yeah, this is the new Niv Mizzet. Okay, so I have nine cards in hand. Might as well just dismiss all. One of them's probably an Ephemerate. There's a Grief. I don't think we're scared of that. Okay, Grief, do your worst. Takes the Shadow Spear. Okay, hits us for seven. It's life linking as well. We're down to 11. There's the Ephemerate. Okay, now they get to look again. Get a bunch of cards to their hand, including a Solitude. Ah, Might have just lost here, folks. Yep, Solitude comes down, takes out the gem. All right, well, we gained five life. That's nice. Okay, so it was for each type. So they got lands in their hand. So Thalia is not as great now. Let's go to our turn. They discarded the land. Yeah, so Thalia isn't great. So let's tick up Aether Vial. Up to three. Planes is less than ideal, but we'll play it. Activate Stoneforge, Sword of Fire and Ice into play, and we will equip to our Stoneforge Mystic. Go to combat, swing in for three, hit them, shoot them for two. We drew a land and we'll just scoop it up there, I think. Do we have one more draw phase? We'll take one more turn. Femorate rebounds. They choose not to cast it. They swing in for seven. We're just going to take it. Down to seven. Cracks the polluted delta. Gets a godless shrine. Untap. To fairy, okay. Bounces the sword, that's fine. Is holding up ephemerate mana, however. All right, Aether Vial. Ah, uh, yeah, you're gonna stay on three. Or I could tick it up to four. Oh, uh, and that's the flicker wisp. God damn, don't you hate it when you misclick? Um, hmm. Yeah, I mucked that up. That was our extra turn. All right, yeah, we're just gonna scoop that up. That was embarrassing. <laughs> All right, it's been a while since I played. Let's brush off the cobwebs. Well, Sanctifiers seem pretty great, as does Relic of Progenitus. And I guess Gadog Teague, they did have some pretty hefty stuff. They had the Leyline Bindings, that stops that. Um, I didn't see much low cost removal stuff, so we can probably ditch the Screlves. They do have the Hand Hate, so we're gonna cut some Aether Vials and then we can... Uh, what if we keep one Aether... So we've got two Aether Vials and we'll go down two Thalias. Thalia seems really good against them though. Better than Gadog Teague. Trim an Aether Vial, go down two Gadog Teague, run it back like that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Soulless Jailer stops the combo too. Okay, I'm an idiot. I don't hate this. It's mulligan though. It's not great. That's better. Keep. Caldra goes away. Planes and pass. Watery Grave. Tapped. All right, no grief. That's good. Boldaloth Pathway. Sanctifier and Vec. Pass the turn there. Hallowed Fountain. Tapped. Okay. They're passing. Lovely. Aether Vial as well. Urza Saga. 
Tap the saga for mana, run out Aethervile, go to combat, swing in for two. Pass the turn there. There's the solitude, unfortunately. They did ditch a faithful mending to do that. Hopefully that means they don't have another one. They do, in response as well. Grizzlebrand and grief to the graveyard. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Aethervile ticking up. Yes, another Urza's saga. Um, I think we just play Branch Loth Pathway as a green land. Pass the turn there. There's a white land. Goyo's Vengeance. All right, Grizzlebrand, do your thing. Draws seven. Draws seven. Swings in for seven. So we'll take it. Down to 15. I have to exile the Grizzlebrand. Okay, let's make a construct. They have to discard down. Okay, discarded a lot. A lot of removal. Okay, well, let's tick the eighth vial up to two. Drew a land. Let's make a construct. Grab a Relic of Progenitus. Play another copy of Urza's Saga. Go to combat. Solitude. Okay. Tapping white. So I guess this is them projecting Ephemerate as well. Okay. Takes out one construct token. Ephemerate. No worries. Takes out both constructs. Not a problem at all. Pass it there. Ephemerate has the rebound trigger. Polluted Delta. They crack it. Swamp. Goyo's Vengeance. Well, Relic. Try and exile. Maybe they have a second one. Activate Relic of Progenitus again. They do have the second one, and I'll just scoop it up here. We're just too far behind. I made a mistake there. I should have brought in the Soulless Jailers as well. So yeah, that's on me, guys. I'm sorry. Round two. All right, we've won the die roll. Let's go first. Love it. Can't keep it. That's a mulligan. That's a keep. Hmm. Let's throw back Skyclave. Temple Garden. Pay two life. Giver of Runes. Pass the turn there. Wooded Foothills. They crack it. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Goblin Guide. Burn, eh? They swing in for two. We draw a land. Lovely. I love drawing lands. Down to 16. Go to my turn. That's pretty good. Is that the best way to do it? Multiple Giver of Runes. Guarantee Stoneforge comes down to get Batiscal. Or do we just want the Urza Saga? Stoneforge. Yeah, let's do Urza Saga. Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Batiscal is in our hand. Pass the turn there. Arid Misa. Swings in for two. Just gonna take it. Giver of Runes on top. Nice. Down to 14. Cracks the Arid Misa. Mount. Rift Bolt has been suspended. Rift Bolt has been suspended. Okay. Let's play Boulderloth Pathway. Run out Giver of Runes. Pass the turn there. No attacks. All right. If the hand is land three bolts, we're dead. And what I predicted came to pass. Deals three to our face. Deals three to our face. Land. Lava Spike. Lava Spike. Lightning Bolt. Yep. Land three bolts and we were dead. All right. Scoop it up. Well, we do get a lot of hate. Sanctifiers, Burringtons, Soulless Jailers, and you know what? I'm going to bring in the Haywire Mites. They've randomly got life gain in them. Um, let's ditch Skrelv. Let's ditch Flicker Wisp. 65. So we'll ditch the Guardians. Three cuts to make. Looks like three Aether Vials. Run it back like that. Remember when Stoneforge was banned because getting Batterskull down was too strong? Those days are long gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play first. Yeah, that's a mulligan. That's a keep. Throw back a horizon canopy. Boulder Loth pathway. Give reverence. Pass the turn there. Mountain. Rift Bolt. Okay. Go to my turn. Boulder Loth pathway. Sanctifier Invec. Do we swing? That is the question. Yeah, I guess we do. Swing in for one. Take it down to 19. Pass the turn there. Rift Bolt comes off suspend. Shoots us. Okay. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Yep. Searing Blaze. Deals three to us. Gets rid of Giver Runes. Play Horizon Canopy. Run out Haywire Might. Go to combat. Attack for two. Pass the turn there. Bloodstained Mire. They're passing. Planes. Go to combat. Attack for two. Gonna run out the Naked Skyclave Apparition now. Just need to start focusing on getting our clock a bit faster. Can't exile anything. All right, the crack in the Bloodstained Mire. Sacred Foundry. Tapped. Okay. Searing Blaze. Yep. Yeah. Down to 11. Could be dead this turn. Sunbaked Canyon. Cracks the Sunbaked Canyon. They pass to my turn. Field of Ruin. Well, I'm going to play Blast Zone. Go to combat. Attack for two. Take it down to 10. Pass the turn there. Sunbaked Canyon. And they're passing. I'm guessing they're flooded. Do I draw now? Probably. Draw a card. Another planes, not great. Giver Runes is pretty good though. Okay, let's play planes. Go to combat. Attack for two. They take it. Run out the Giver of Runes. Pass the turn there. Skull crack. Okay. Down to eight. Smash to smithereens. Yep, down to five. Can't gain life. Not popping that blast zone will be on the list of my regrets. Mountain and passing. This is this is ridiculous. Field of ruin. Go to combat. Swing in for two. Skull crack, hey? Solitude in response. Do I gain one life or do I gain two life? These are not good choices. All right, solitude. We're going to gain two. Up to seven. Dead to a Boros charm. Pass it there. Cracks the Sunbay Canyon. If we're alive after this turn, I don't know who to thank. Inspiring Vantage, Red White, Lightning Helix. Okay, another Solitude's pretty great. Let's go to combat. Swing with both. 
deflecting palm. Okay, but what's the choice? Okay, solitude, target my solitude. Go back up to four, hit him for one. Gotcha. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a deflecting palm. <laughs> Dead to so many things here. They play another land. This is ridiculous. I feel like they're holding. That's pretty good. All right, let's go to combat. Swing in for three. Okay, back up to seven. I'm gonna run out the Solus Jailer. Pass the turn there. Hopefully their last card smashed to smithereens and they've been holding that. I don't want to die like this. Monastery Swiss Beer. Okay, three mana. What costs three mana? Skewer the Critics. On my Giver of Runes. How rude of you, sir. How very, very rude. <laughs> okay, they got nothing in hand. Let's just give Solus Jailer pro red, I guess. Okay, no attacks. We're gonna pop the Blast Zone to deal with one creature. Oh, that's disgusting. Go to my turn. That's really good. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Yes. Shadow Spear. <laughs> Cast the Shadow Spear. <laughs> the dumbest game of my magic career. I was going to attack the one with a solar stamina. <laughs> okay. That was really, 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 really dumb. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay. I think we're going to take out Galdra. Because we don't need that as a dead draw, like, at all. I guess I bring in a Guardian of Faith instead. Man, that was such a dumb game. <laughs> yeah, one Guardian of Faith. I don't think it's better than much else. All right, run it back like that. Oh, this hurts, but it could be really good. Gonna keep. All right, Inspiring Vantage. And they're passing. Okie dokie. That's even better. Horizon Canopy. I'm gonna risk it. Barrington Forge Tender. Would love it if they had Path. Pass the turn there. Inspiring Vantage. Rift Bolt Exiled. Okay, go to my turn. Field of Ruin. My mana base is painful. Run out Soulless Jailer. Now let's not get greedy. We're not attacking. All right. Rift Bolt. Coming off Suspend. Can't be cast. Nice. Mountain. Goblin Guide. Yep. No attacks. Very nice. Go to my turn. Temple Garden's cool, but it does kind of hurt a little, doesn't it? We're at 18. We could run out and equip the Shadow Spear and just start swinging. Could also just play Temple Garden tapped run out Stoneforge for Batter Skull. Opponent tapped mana there. Doesn't like Stoneforge existing, I suppose. Yeah, Lightning Bolt on the Stoneforge Mystic. That's fine. Pass it there. We could have prevented that with Burrington, but I don't think we need to. No attacks and passing. Lovely. What I love to see. Horizon Canopy. I, I guess I just put the Shadow Spear into play and pass. Cracking the Sunbaked Canyon to draw. Okay. Passing to me. Thank you. Another copy of Giver of Runes. That's nice. Let's equip Soulless Jailer. I think we just pass it. Cracking the Fiery Islet to draw. Lightning Helix on my face. Okay. Wooded Foothills. Let's cast Solitude, ditching Giver of Runes. Take out that Goblin Guide. Let's go touch the Spirit Realm on the Solitude. Opponents crack in Wooded Foothills. Sacred Foundry, untapped. Searing Blaze. I will sacrifice the Barrington Forge Tender here. Okay. Solitude goes away. Solitude returns. I'm not exiling anything. Go to my turn. Backup Solitude's really nice. Let's go to combat. I think we just attack for three. Perfect. Back up to 15. Pass it there. Sunbake Canyon. Skewer the critics on solitude. Okay. Go to my turn. Aether Vial's nice. Let's go to combat. Attack for one. Let's run out Aether Vial. Pass the turn there. Cracking Sunbake Canyon to draw. So we're on 16. They have three cards in hand. This is, this is pretty ideal. Monastery Swift Spear. Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. I want to get more value out of this Solitude than what I can get right now. They're swinging in for two. Okay. Well, we'll just take it. Down to 14. Go to my turn. Aether Vial ticking up to one. That's pretty nice. Okay. So let's just pass the turn there. No attacks. Smash to Smithereens now. It's Crack Horizon Canopy to draw. There's Saga. Not bad. It's Crack Horizon Canopy to draw. Another Solitude. Okay. Yeah, all right. So Solitude, Ditching, Giver of Runes. Take out a Swift Spear. We're going down to 11. Going to take another two. So down to nine. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not worried. They go to combat. Swing in for two. I shall take two down to nine. Go to my turn. Aether Vial ticking up. Run out Urza's Saga. <sighs> Pass it there. Swings in. 4-1. Okay, right, well, I'll take it. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Evoke Solitude here. Targeting the Swift Spear. Still very likely dead. Skewer the Critics. Down to three. Do they have the Bolt? Not yet. Okay. Aether Vial. Tick it up to three. Land is not great, Dak. Not great. Play it, I suppose. Let's see what happens. Okay. They're passing. Aether Vial will stay on three. Oh, no! Smash to Smithereens now. Okay. They got us. Round three. Round three. We have won the die roll. Nope. Mulligan. I guess we're keeping this one. Let's throw back Horizon Canopy. Planes into Giver of Runes. Pass the turn there. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Interesting. Go to my turn. Iganjo. Stoneforge Mystic. Bolts the Giver. Okay. Stoneforge. Grabs Sword of Fire and Ice. Pass the turn there. Bloodstained Mire. They crack Bloodstained Mire. Another Blood Crypt. 
Dorothy Voidwalker. Okay, go to my turn, run out Urza's Saga, run out Giver of Runes, just pass the turn there. No attacks. Swamp, so this is definitely scam. Evoked Fury, okay. No, my precious boys. Activate Stoneforge, Sword of Fire and Ice into play. Creatures get exiled. Fury goes away. They didn't have the scam card for it. Seasoned Pyromancer. No worries. Two tokens. Hits us down to 17. Passes to us. Planes. Play the planes. Pass the turn. Thought sees. Sure, take what you like. Takes the Skyclave Apparition. So now Dothy can get the Skyclave if they want. Swings with everything. Okay, let's make a construct now. Do you have the removal? No oh, bother. Coligan's Command. Wow. <laughs> they had the removal in spades. All right, well, we're down to 10. Let's go to my turn. Sure, let's make a tiny construct. Grab Shadow Spear, grab a Planes, equip the construct. We have a 3 3 trampling lifelink. Pass the turn there. They're ripping off the top, we're ripping off the top. It's all in good fun. That is a land. Okay, so they have Season Pyromancer tokens. Dothy Voidwalker is sacrificed. Perfect. This for Skyclave? Sword of Fire and Ice, even better. Yep, chucks it on a Season Pyromancer. Well, I don't want them to draw, so I guess I just block. Okay, now I go to my turn. Planes, oh, land is perfect. So we'll play the Horizon Canopy. Run out the Flicker Wisp. Choose the Sword of Fire and Ice. Thank you. Equip the Flicker Wisp with the Shadow Spear. Pass it there. They're cracking the Bloodstained Mire. I think they're in deck thinning mode. Did they even search up anything? I don't think they did. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, swings in for two. Just gonna take it. Go to my turn. Scroll's pretty cool. Let's equip the Flicker Wisp. I have the power! Go to combat. And they scoop it up there. Very nice. All right, scam. So let's get rid of three relics, three Thalias straight off. Bring in the Sanctifiers and the Burringtons. And then the Jailers are also good as is the relic. So that's three cuts to make with only one eighth of oil. I guess the flicker wisps aren't great. So maybe we ditch them. Yeah, run it back like that. Yeah, let's keep this one. They're great. Black Cleave Cliffs, untapped. Into a Ragavan, no worries. They mulliganed a bit to do that too. Let's play Boldoloth Pathway. What's the worst thing that happens if we run out Aether Vile? Nothing, let's run it out. Run out Aether Vile, pass it there. Here it comes, here's the Grief. Okay, Grief takes Stoneforge. They feign death, so Grief comes back. And Grief takes, surprise, surprise, Stoneforge. Bloodstained Mire, and they swing in for two. Well, we'll take it. Ragavan hits, nothing useful. Go to my turn. Aether Vile ticking up. Let's tick up our Aether Vile. Sanctifier is nice. Let's run out Urza Saga. Solus Jailer. Pass the turn there. Bloodstained Mire. Engineered Explosives, X equals one. Okay. Swings in with a 4-3. No worries. Just go to my turn. Aether Vile ticking up. Solitude's nice. Means this Urza Saga is not going to do much. Yeah, let's just pass it there. Cracks the Bloodstained Mire. It's a Blood Crypt tapped. Okay. Cracks a Bloodstained Mire. Gets a Swamp. Okay, so they're, they're actually empty handed. I didn't realize that. Polluted Delta. Awesome. Swings in for four. I do think I just take it again. Activate Aether Vile. Sanctifier into play. Go to my turn. Um, yeah, let's tick up the Aether Vile. Yes. Nice. Urza's Saga. Tap it for mana. Okay. Do I want to search for anything? Relic could be a redraw here. I don't hate it. We are kind of desperate for lands. I wonder if just straight Stoneforge for Kaldra gets us this game. Probably. So do we search for anything? Nah, we're done. We need to draw the land to run out the Kaldra. Meh. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Stoneforge Mystic. Tutor ourselves up. Kaldra complete. We will get there. Let's pass the turn there. Cracks the Polluted Delta. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Five mana for Fury. Okay. Two damage, two damage. Okay. Swings in with Grief. Can I take this? I think I can. I will. Down to six. Go to my turn. Okay. I'm going to tick up the Aether Vial. Planes is pretty great. Pass the turn there. Do we pass the turn there? Well, if we play our one drops, we just basically lose. So yeah. Goes to combat. Swings with everything. Block. Block here. Block here. Take four. Down to two. Go to my turn. Aether Vial ticking up. Skyclave that we can't cast. Then I guess we pass. Thought Seize. Activate Aether Vial. Yes. Solitude into play. Solitude takes out the Grief. See ya. Okay, they take the Skyclave. They do have the Terminate. Okay. They have no good attacks. Go to my turn. Aether Vial staying on five. Let's play Horizon Canopy. I guess we could run out Skrelv as a kind of a... You've got an Engineered Explosives on one, I guess. They're kind of dead to a hasty creature. I'm not sure they have any. I think we just pass. Yeah, we'll just pass. Why not? Dead to a kill spell. All right, they drew a land. Go to my turn. Aether Vile staying on five. Land is nice. I guess we run out the Giver of Runes because I don't want to be dead to a kill spell again. Pass it there. Got to get some lifelink going. 
Dothy Voidwalker, that's bad. That's really bad. They're passing, let's draw a card, okay? Activate Aether Vial. Yep, Solitude into play. Let's take out the Dorothy. Perfect, go to my turn. Aether Vial staying on five. I guess now we can start attacking. Do we attack with Solitude? Probably. Play Boulder Loth Pathway. Go to combat, attack for three. Do you dare block opponent? They do. I will now give Pro Red. Okay, now what happens? Nothing, and we're up to five. I feel a lot healthier now. Yes, finally, all right. I've been a bit rusty. I haven't played for a little while, but I think I'm getting back into the swing of things. <laughs> oh, I needed that. All right, cool. Good game against scam. Round four. Alrighty, round four. Opponents won the die roll. Look, it's capable, so we'll keep. Mishra's Bauble looks at their own top card. Spire Bluff Canal into nothing and passes. Okay, Plains Giver of Runes. Pass the turn there. Yep, has the Unholy Heat. Second land and just passing. Okay, there's the Saga. And now I shall just pass. I don't need to cast spells. <laughs> Misty Rainforest. Ledger Shredder. Okay, just passes. Well, Urza Saga is ticking up. I could just Skyclave Apparition the Ledger Shredder right now. That would probably put them on the back foot. We miss out on one construct. I think that's fine. Skyclave Apparition. Boop, boop, got your bird. Pass it there. Misty Rainforest, untapped. Yep, Lightning Bolt gets themselves a 2-2. That's fine. Expressive Iteration, Ragavan in Exile. Okay, swings in for two. We're just going to take it. Go to my turn. Urza Saga ticking up to three. So we will make a construct here. Grab ourselves our Aether Vial. I guess we run out Blast Zone and just pass. Bolts the construct. Yep, now well, we're getting hit. Take four. Plains is exiled. Okay. Blooded Strand. Just passing. Okay. Aether Vial ticking up. Yes. Horizon Canopy. I, get, I guess it's just run out Thalia here. Question is, do they let it resolve? Nope. Straight up counter spell. Okay. Pass the turn there. They don't crack the Flooded Strand. How interesting. Swings in. Activate Aether Vial. Yes. Giver of Runes into play. Block the Ragavan. Yep. Trade him off. Aether Vial ticking up. 2-2. Two, two. Another touch the Spirit Realm. Okay. Well, we'll just pass it there. They crack the Flooded Strand. Down to 16. Steam Vents tapped. Ledger Shredder. Yep. Doesn't attack. Okay. Respects the Pokeball. Pass the turn there. Aether Vial ticking up 2-3. Let's play Boulder Loth Pathway. Pass the turn there. Swings in with the Ledger Shredder. Activate Aether Vial. Yes. Skyclave Apparition. Target the Ledger Shredder. And opponent scoops it up there. Very nice. I like that. All right. Sanctifiers in. Burrington's in. Relic in. Let's cut Batterskull here. What if I just cut Flicker Wisp and Guardian of Faiths? They could be running Fury, in which case Guardian of Faith is amazing. Maybe I'll keep the Guardian of Faiths over a couple of Skyclaves. No, let's keep them over the Skrelves, hey? Over the Skrelves. Run it back like that. Yeah. Try that out. Yep, that's a keep. Flooded Strand, they crack it. Steam Vents, untapped. Into the Ragavan, okay. Go to my turn. Boulder Loth Pathway, Burrington Forge Tender. Pass the turn there. Island, Ledger Shredder. No attacks, passes. Temple Garden, not going to pay two life. Barrington Forge Tender, pass the turn there. Maybe we should have prioritized Aether Vial there. Not sure. Swings in for one. Well, we'll just take it. Yeah, probably should have prioritized Aether Vial there because they're holding up counter spell. Go to my turn. Let's run out Aether Vial. It's fine. Swing in for one. Okay, they take it. Well, if it keeps up like this, we're going to win the race. Casts Consider. Scolding Tarn. Cracks it. Basic Island. Ooh, do we have a Blood Moon coming? Ottawara. Returning it to my hand. Okay. <laughs> I could have sacrificed it, but I'm not going to. Sure, they swing in. They get their treasure. They're down to two cards in hand. I'm not too worried. Yep, they got rid of a land off the top of our deck. Cool. Go to my turn. Aether Vial ticking up. Run out of Urza's Saga. Go to combat. Attack for one. Skyclave Apparition. Take out the Ledger Shredder. Get over here! Pass the turn there. Big old Merc Tide. Okay. Dragon's Rage Channeler. No worries. No attacks and is passing. Activate Aether Vial. Yes. Burrington Forge Tender into play. Go to my turn. Aether Vial will tick up. Another land. Not what I wanted to see, Dak. Let's play Boulder Loth Pathway here. Run out Relic of Progenitus. Let's just make him exile that Flooded Strand right now. Pass the turn there. It's only a 4-4 Merktide, so these constructs will easily outsize it. Okay. They swing in for four. We're just going to take it. Go to my turn. In the end step, we're going to make a construct. Three, three. Nice. Aether Vial is going to tick up to three. Another land. Okay. Let's make another construct. Let's go grab ourselves a Shadow Spear. Let's play Field of Ruin. Equip the construct with the Shadow Spear. They have dress down. They got to do it now. Guess they don't have it. Swing in for a six, six lifelink trampler. Petty theft on the construct. Okay. Let's Exile that land of theirs. Pass the turn there. I mean, we've got a couple of redraws in these Horizon Canopies, so all is not lost, but all is not currently great right now. <laughs> 
Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they didn't have the removal for the next construct. Wow. Okay. Pretty clean sweep against the Merkatide list then. I would love to know what they had in their hand. Maybe a couple of counter spells. So what, they couldn't stop the construct? I guess not. 5-5 five, five lifelink in construct. I guess we win that race. Awesome. Happy with that. Will not complain about that. Round five. All right, final round, we have won the die roll. Sure, let's keep. Not the best hand, not the worst. Let's lead Temple Garden tapped and pass. Polluted Delta. Grief. Okay, glad I kept a hand with two Urza Sagas in it. Although given they're not cracking the fetch, I'm giving, I'm guessing this is living end. In which case we might be in a bit of trouble. Takes the touch of spirit realm. Okay. Passes to me. Hmm. Let's play Boldaloth Pathway. Stoneforge Mystic. Grab Batter Skull. Pass the turn here. Botanical Sanctum. Okay, definitely living end. Definitely. Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn there. Cracking the polluted delta. Steam vents. Untapped, okay. Colossal Sky Turtle, putting my Stoneforge Mystic back. Okay, I'll activate it then. Put the Batter Skull into play. Stoneforge Mystic returns. Beseju who endures. Looks like they're passing. So I, what's the right plan here? Do we go Stoneforge Mystic, get Shadow Spear? Or do we attack first? Stoneforge Mystic, okay. Yep, Shadow Spear, cast the Shadow Spear. Okay, go to combat. Swing in for four. Violent Outburst, okay. Cascades. Living End is now on the stack, at which point we respond by evoking a Solitude, and we exile our own Phyrexian Germ token, gain four life. Solitude goes to the graveyard. They get their two creatures, they get to take our Flicker Wisp. We get to exile their colossal whatever the hell it is. Oh, it has Ward 2. I didn't know that. Read the card, Chippy. Read the card. Read it right. Read it right. Yeah, could have taken out the grief. Would have been fine. I guess it's okay. Would have preferred that not to have happened. I've got 22 minutes on my clock. What am I rushing for? What am I rushing for? All right, it's fine. <laughs> All right, their things don't have haste, but they do get to attack this turn. We also didn't play an Urza's Saga. Ah, that's strategy, Chip. That's strategy. Okay, they swing in for nine. I guess we're taking it. Down to 15. Go to my turn. Planes is cool. All right, so now we run out the Urza Saga, and I'm just going to equip the Solitude with the Shadow Spear. Go to combat. Attack for four. Okay, we're back up to 19. They're down to 13. Pass the turn there. All right, cycling again. Misty Rainforest. Only swinging in with the Colossal. Okay, down to 13. Go to my turn. A Stoneforge Mystic. Hello. I could equip an attack, and that puts me firmly in the driver's seat. Let's give it a go. Planes, if this works. Laughing. Cycling. Gives grief flying. Cycles again. Now I'm worried. Cracking the fetch. Guessing they have the violent outburst. Gets an island. Swing in. I mean, we couldn't have done this much differently. Wow, they just took it down to two. Oh, yes. <laughs> I suppose because of the trample as well. Breeding pool tapped. Striped Riverwinder cycled. No attacks and passes. Needs everything in defense. Awesome. Well, I see no reason not to make a construct here. Let's grab an Aether Vial. Run out an Urza's Saga. Let's force the issue now. Cast the Wisp. Target the Grief. Go to combat. Attack. Do you have it? They don't. Yes. All right. Game one against Living End is incredible. All right. Sanctifier, Soulless Jailer, Relic of Progenitus. And I think that's it. Nothing else screams good. Okay. So what's not great? I don't think Kaldra is particularly good in the matchup. Guardian of Faith is very good. Skrelv is not great. Maybe even Giver of Runes is not great. Um, so we cut those. Three more cuts to make. Aether Vial, one Wisp, the Giver of Runes. We've got a few one drops, but we don't need that many. I don't think they really target our stuff for removal anyway. They rely on Living End. Is this a hand that does it? And I think the answer is no. However, Urza's Saga into Relic. All right, we're going to try this. We're a game up. I know it's silly, but we're going to try this. All right, we're going to keep, and we're going to lead on Urza's Saga. All right, Watery Grave. Untapped. Passes to me. Well, that's just perfect. Urza's Saga. Aether Vial. Architects will get cycled. Okay. Force of negation. That is aggressive. What'd they ditch? Another force. Awesome. All right. Pass it there. Breeding pool from our opponent. I wonder if the thing about using Beseju, taking out the Urza Saga, but giving us a white land, because as far as they know, we're mana screwed. We're not. I could see that being a complicated decision for them. We played a colorless land that'll go away in three turns into Aether Vial, and they force of negation the Aether Vial. So if they had Beseju, they'd take away the colorless land, give us a white land, but maybe we'd still be stuck on one land and we won't be getting an Aether Vial. Interesting can them for them. All right, untapped. Let's go. They do have the Besaju. What an interesting game this has become. All right, we don't have any green cards, but sure, let's get the Temple Garden and scare them a bit. Let's not pay two life. I thought this was a decision they were racking their brain over. Planes, Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge goes for the Batter Skull. 
Pass the turn there. Okay, cycles to give our creature flying. Thank you. There's the steam vents. Tap. Okay, go to my turn. That's the Guardian. That is the Guardian. Field of Ruin, pass. Activate Stoneforge Mystic here. Do we put the Batter Skull in or Sword of Fire and Ice? Let's go for the Batter Skull. Let's see what happens. Okay, we want to untap. Okay, we do. Perfect. Planes, go to combat. Swing in for five. Violent Outburst. Okay, Living End is on the stack. So now we cast Guardian of Faith. Phase out my two creatures. This is why it's in the deck. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lose our Guardian of Faith. They get two creatures that don't fare up very well against a Batterskull. They do get to look at the top three cards of target player's library though. Fortunately, we have a shuffle trigger if they target us. They target themselves. Okay, well, we'll just pass the turn there. Swinging in for seven. So it is very likely they could have a besage you here. Very likely they could have. Hmm, yeah, I suppose that's a sentence. Okay, go to my turn. Solitude's really nice. Think we run out Horizon Canopy. We activate Stoneforge Mystic, Sword of Fire and Ice into play. Now let's try and equip that to the Phyrexian Gem. Go to combat. Cycles the Striped Riverwinder. Okay. Digging. Curator of Mysteries. Okay. I'm feeling a bit more confident now. Swing in for six. Shoot them for two. We're back up to 19. Giver of Runes. How lovely. Well, I think we passed the turn there. Can you stop this opponent? Swings in the air for four. Okay. Take it down to 15. Skyclave Apparition. Let's play Blast Zone. Go to combat. Swing in for six. Exiles target creature or planeswalker on my germ. Well, let's crack the horizon canopy to draw. Let's go off the blast zone. Okay, that happens. Let's equip the stone forge with the sword of fire and ice. Do we run out the other stone forge? Probably. Just grab the shadow spear. Perfect. Pass it there. Opponent is attacking with both. Let's just block with the stone forge here. Gives us another creature that we'll get back if they living end. All right, we're down to 11. Land. Okay. Let's play it. Sure, let's try equipping. Go to combat. Swing in for seven. Cracking the polluted delta. Getting an island. Okay, violent outburst. Do they put the living end on the stack? They do. So now I cast solitude. Do I exile the giver of runes here or do I cast it? I'm going to cast it post combat. So I'm going to cast solitude ditching Skyclave Apparition. And I guess I'll exile my own Stoneforge Mystic, gain a whole bunch of life. Yeah, puts me firmly ahead. Back up to 18. Evoke happens. Did they have a counter spell for their living end? It'd be amazing if they did. They did not. Okay. Well, I'm going to Solitude the Curator of Mysteries away. Uh, am I going to Guardian of Faith anything? I could Guardian of Faith a Stoneforge. <sighs> I could Guardian and Faith both of these. This covers me in the event of a Shardless Agent. Yes. So I'm going to phase out both of those. Okay. Now I will tutor up. Nothing. Okay. Exile their creature. Run out the Giver of Runes. Pass the turn there. They swing in for five. We're just going to take it. Down to 13. Goes to my turn. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully no even, no violent outburst this time. So Sword of Fire and Ice equips. Let's go to combat. Swing in with those three. And I've been meaning to Field of Ruin this Steam Vents for about six turns, but I've just never had the chance until now. Okay, the Tap Mana getting Besage you. Okay, targets the sword. So what if I touch the Spirit Realm now? What if I don't? What if I just get my land and be happy? Is that enough? Yeah, I'm happy for that to go. It's great, but I don't think we need it to win. They're taking another hit here. Yes, I will get a land. Get a Temple Garden. Do I want to pay two life? Nah. All right, hit them for seven. Okay, so they're down to four. So now we're going to Field of Ruin the red source. Get ourselves a planes. Yep, ding, ding, ding. Opponent out of basics. Perfect. So then in our main phase, we're going to flicker our Guardian of Faith. Guardian of Faith is going to return the end step. We're going to phase out two of our creatures. Go to their turn. Avon Windcaller. Gives the Striped Riverwinder flying. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. Shardless Agent pre-combat. Not attacking first. Interesting choice. Doesn't cast their living in. Maybe they took one out. Is there, Are they only running two now? Did they reveal it? Oh, are they out? Oh no, there's one there. Although I have not been keeping track. I think it goes down. I think they've used both. I think they are out. Yeah, they're out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We did that with no graveyard eight. Okay, yeah. So what happens there is our creatures phase back in and we attack. Um, so let's say they did Shardless Agent. They did get back their creatures. We'd, they'd get a couple. Um, I think between Shadow Spear and Batterskull, we'd outvalue them. So yeah, we whew, we got there. All right. Really happy with how that went. That was a that was a good matchup. And it should be noted that once I got my brain in gear, two o two o two o. One that noted. <laughs> We'll just forget about match one and two, hey? <laughs> All right, let's go to the wrap up.
All right, so we went 3-2. Um, not our best run, not our worst run, but a very fun run. A very, very fun run. Had not played for a while, so that first game was definitely feeling a bit rusty. Marked up my sideboarding, didn't bring in my soulless jailer, which was silly, because if it was in the deck, there was a chance we could have drawn it rather than any of our other hate pieces. Although the deck did fight through two hate pieces to win in game two. It fought through Sanctifier and Vec, and then it fought through Relic of Progenitus by being able to Goyo's Vengeance twice. In hindsight, maybe we scooped too early by playing Goyo's Vengeance twice. They would have sure drawn a lot of cards, but then the Atraxa would have exiled in the end step. So then maybe we could have fought back because we had things on board. I don't know. It was pretty, pretty small chances there. But overall, I'm really, really happy with the list. <sighs> Once I got my brain in gear, yes, just straight 3-0 didn't drop a game. So that's handy <laughs> that I'm capable of that. So we didn't drop a game against Murktide, against Scam and against Living End, all of which are really good decks. Um, the Reanimator, also a very good deck. And Burn, it's always a tricky matchup. <sighs> I don't know if there's anything we can do to help shore up that matchup any more than we did. Perhaps just mulliganing to get the right hands. Um, I do wonder, we're not really cracking the Horizon Canopies too often. We did against Burn, so potentially they could become something else. So we aren't spending so much life. But apart from that, I can't really think of anything that I would change. Guardian of Faith definitely showed its worth being able to loop around board wipes like Living End so they can't get the value out of wiping our board, which was, it's just wicked fun, this list. It's really great. <laughs> But yeah, look, 3-2, pretty middling results. But here's the thing. If you go consistently 3-2, you never have to buy tickets on MTGO because you get your 100 play points and you get your treasure chest. So you're actually turning a profit. So even though it's only a 3-2, it's a profitable deck list. So if you have fun playing it and you think you can consistently get 3-2s or higher, it's the list for you. And that's why I play it. Once again, thank you to all our sponsors. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, have fun.